like to introduce to you now um, Coach Sam Harrell from Ennis, Texas. He's a multi-state football champion coach for high school football in Ennis. And Sam's been down to Panama a few times and he's become a good friend. And, um, and he was kind enough to come up from Ennis to tell you about what, what's been going on with him. Sam Harrell. Thanks, Neil. I, I like to bring this, I really do, because uh, it just reminds me that uh, I, I used to have to have this to get out of the house. Uh, and now this has to have me to get out of the house. Uh, <laughs> it, it, it would carry me and now I carry it and I just carry it around. It just reminds me of where I was. Uh, and, and, and that wasn't a very fun life. Uh, uh, but, but I'm just so thankful. and. and and I can't pronounce any of those cells I got. I can't tell you why they do it. Uh, Dr. Nocera and Dr. Reardon can, and, and I like them giving that because it just reminds us it's not voodoo or magic or something. No, it's something science. And, but I, I don't know what, I don't know one name or one cell one in me. I don't, I, I can't pronounce them. I don't know them. I don't know, I do know how many. That was always interesting. It was like, 90 million, you know, so that's not good. Man, I got 90 million. Uh, but, you know, you know, the only thing I can, uh, the, the thing I do know, and it reminds me of uh, in, in the Bible, uh, in John, when Jesus healed the blind man, you know, the blind, and he put mud on his eyes and he could see again, and, and, the, and the Pharisees wanted to ask the blind man, you know, how did he do this? What did he do? It, 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 you know, that can't be right, you know. And, and the blind man just said, I don't know. All I know is I once was blind and now I see. Uh, and, and that's exactly how I feel. I don't understand it. I don't know what the cell names are. I don't know how they work. I, don't know, I just know at one time I had to be on that. At one time I was sitting at the house, retired, couldn't, couldn't, do, couldn't coach again. Uh, and, and now I can do all that again. Now I just throw on my shorts, throw on my tennis shoes, go to work again. And I don't know why, I don't know how, I don't know. I know it's the grace of God, and I know it's the stem cells, and God's smiling on me through stem cells. Uh, and if it wasn't for those stem cells, I wouldn't be here today. You know, I wouldn't have a story. I wouldn't have a journey. You know, I'd still be sitting at home. And, uh, and, and, and that's, that's, quickly, that's my story. And I, I won't be real short, because I won't be real respectful of your time. And, and, uh, and, and I don't want to take long, but, you know, I. I'd been coaching in 2005. I got diagnosed uh, with MS, and uh, by 2010, I couldn't I couldn't coach anymore. I couldn't walk. I couldn't uh, I could walk barely, but I had to. I was coaching out of a golf cart and had to get out and, and hold on the golf cart like this, and and so I had to retire. Uh, I went from 2005, find out I had it. 2010, I was retired, sitting at home, uh, just watching the clock every day. I told my wife, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna turn on the TV. I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna read my Bible, I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna get on the internet, my laptop, and answer emails, stuff like that, thinking, well, that'll, that'll occupy. You know, and, and every day, uh, I'd get through doing that, and I'd look up, and it'd be about 10.30. <laughs> and I'd think, well, in another hour and a half, I can make myself a sandwich. Uh, <laughs> that's gonna, I mean, literally, I thought that. I said, that's gonna take about 30 minutes. And about five more hours after that, Kathy, my wife, will be home from, from teaching school. And not that that was going to change a whole lot, but at least there'll be somebody else in the house. And then I guess about nine or 10, we'll go to bed. And then tomorrow I'll get up and we'll do this all over again. <laughs> we'll do it all over again. And, I'll, and I, was, <clears throat> I was 55 years old at that time. And, and I thought, well, I'm going to probably live another 20 years hopefully and, and that's what I got to look forward to every day getting up and thinking well I'm gonna make it to 1030 I'm gonna make it to 12 because uh, I didn't think there was much more uh, I just didn't feel like I had a lot of purpose anymore and, and I know I shouldn't feel it that way I really shouldn't have, but man I battled that and uh, and then you know thankful for people like Preston Walker who's right down here and and Richard Humphreys and Holly Hoover and, and others and 
uh, and, and thankful for Trish, she came to a, a fundraiser for me and, and, uh, and thankful to the people of Ennis for doing that and some of those people are here and uh, just so thankful to all so many people that uh, I finally found my way to Panama and, and my first two treatments, I didn't get better. Uh, I, I didn't get, uh, you know, and, and people ask me and my wife kind of even kind of wondered, why are you going back? I want to go a third time. Uh, and, and after the second treatment, I was really at my lowest. Not because of the second treatment, but just in my digression, uh, I was at my lowest point. And I still wanted to go a third time because I felt like something's going on in there every time I went down there and had them. Uh, and, and I don't know why the third one was the game changer, but man, it was. Uh, it was just amazing. And, uh, and it wasn't just overnight, but just slowly things just kept getting better and better and better. And before long, I was lifting my left leg again. I couldn't lift my left leg. I couldn't walk. I could walk without that thing. I could get on my bike and, and ride my bike again. And, and that just kept getting better and better. And, and before long, you know, I, I look up and I'm coaching again. You know, and I'm thinking, golly, I'm the luckiest guy in the world. Luckiest guy in the world. So I... I <laughs> and, and, and I've talked to several of y'all out here that, that contacted me and I love just spreading that and I love that one of those slides said the word hope you know boy that's big you know because uh, I remember my hope meter got real low uh, and, 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 and I know what you're going through and, 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 but it just hurts me that some will contact me and go and, and, and I wish, I just wish, and I know Neil does too, I wish everybody that went would have the same experience. But, you know, there's no guarantee, you know, there, but man, I just tell you, it's worth the risk, you know, or, and it's not a risk of, oh, it's gonna do something bad. No, it's, it's worth the risk of, I guess, losing some money, you know, and what's money, you know, if you're sitting at home looking at the clock every day, you know, so. Uh, I just say thank you and I just appreciate uh, what they're doing and, and, and don't listen to the, you know, and, and our U.S. doctors aren't bad or, you know, but, but they're just uneducated, you know, and then they want to say things about stem cells that aren't true, you know, because they're not educated enough. And, and so just keep educating yourself. Keep, you know, be proactive. Uh, you, you don't have to listen to everything your doctor says. He, he's treating you because he thinks that's the way it's best but he didn't, that's his box. That's all his box has right now, you know. Uh, l listen to others, do what you can. God bless you, I love all of you, thank you. <laughs>